Howdy, howdy, y'all. It is the Traveling Dutch here. Um, I thought today it's a nice uh, sunny Sunday out. It's 70 degrees. I got extremely sunburnt yesterday. I'm like, like a lobster. <laughs> it kind of hurts. So today I thought that I would share some tips that I personally use to have better um, balance in my life with work, working out, cleaning, friends, you know, family time. Just everything that as you get older and have to adult, you have to do and it's a little bit overwhelming sometimes. It's a lot to get done sometimes and things end up not getting done. So a couple of ideas that I have. So I am a very big list person as I've said and another thing that works really well for me is using a calendar or multiple calendars. So I always use um, the notepad like on my phone and the calendar on my phone and I will put everything in there so that I'm knowing before with appointments and everything. Um, just having everything organized in there so that I don't, don't forget anything, don't accidentally not show up. Um, and then I also, I like making sure to have the back of the backed up version handwritten because in case something does happen to your phone or it gets deleted, you're not just without like, what was I supposed to be doing for this whole month? So I always like having that backup as well. Um, so from the calendar, I will usually go through and make like a weekly and then a daily list and I will write it all out by priorities. So the most important thing as well as like the time of day that everything will be done. And sometimes I will even put like, so each time like about the time of the day, like say six to seven is when I'll do this. Um, the purpose of that being that it seems for me at least so much easier to not get distracted and to actually end up doing what I'm going to do. So. It's not like, well, I was going to work out and now it's, but rather by saying, okay, I need to be changed, ready to go and out the door by six. And then I have six to seven at the gym or whatever, you know, that just seems to keep me on track way better so that I'm getting more done. Um, another thing that I am trying to be better about is pre-plan. I'm a planner, but like really pre-planning. So like say plans with friends to make sure that we get, um, you know, have enough time so that we're able to actually hang out and get that planned out. You know, not that I don't like some last minute fun, but <laughs> um, another thing that I feel like I really need to work on being better this year is saying no. I'm the kind of person that can just, I'll try to get everything possible done and just go, 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 go. And I do like being that way, but you know, it can be exhausting and then you're, you know, tired and burnt out. So I think saying no to things is That'll be especially things that are at the bottom of the priority list. Things that, you know, would be nice if you got done, but not the biggest deal if it doesn't get done. Or maybe things that just really aren't, don't serve your purpose of what you're trying to get done. Like just knowing when to say no so that it helps you get your stuff done better. Something I definitely need to work on. It's hard to do, but I think it's definitely an important part of it. One thing I have found with my lists is that sometimes I have so much written down on it or things that I might want to do like every day, but it's so overwhelming that I don't even start anywhere. So that's another thing I've been trying to do better is just focus on like one of the tasks per day, like say finish a book and finish a blanket I'm making. So instead of putting that every single day and then I'm like, oh, this is too much. I don't have enough time to do all this tonight. Just doing one of those things per night, which might be kind of common sense, but for me, I'm like, I want to get it all done. And so I get ahead of myself and then I, it kind of backfires and I don't get any of it done. So being better about how I organize that and just about prioritizing that a little bit differently. One thing I think is important. Um, I think I've mentioned this in one of my other videos, but just really being present in the moment of whatever it is you're doing. So you're not focusing on what you should have been doing or have to be doing, but rather just focusing on that moment, what you should be doing, and you will be able to get that done better and then have that time for other things that you want to get done. So if anyone has some great tips that they love, um, that really help them to fit more into their schedule and just have a a better time getting things done so you're not so stressed. If you have some great tips, I would love if you would comment them below or share them with me because I'm always open to new ideas and I'm sure um, anyone else watching would also be. So definitely. So I think it's about to thunderstorm. <laughs> not going to be a nice day for much longer. So I thought I'd do a little out, um, show you what we're up to this afternoon. 
doing some barbecuing. I got my dad this cute sign, Dad's Barbecue from Liberty and Vine, a store we have in town. Um, and then I was gonna show you my Corgi and Shiba Inu because they're, well, I'm, I'm like their dog aunt. Here guys. So here's the Corgi. Hi. His name is Tucker. He's about 10 or 11. He's a little cutie. The other one is very wild. She's the Shiba Inu. She's about like almost a year old. If I can find her out here. Got some pretty flowers blooming, some lilacs. <laughs> She's adorable. She's my spirit animal. When she greets me at the door, she goes like crazy. I'm like, yeah, if everyone could just be this excited when they see me, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I am a total dog lover. I will probably have them in more videos. So if you were also a dog, what, do yeah, dog lover, especially Shiba Inus, Corgis, definitely make sure to check back in. Mm-hmm. <laughs>